Does history really repeat itself? Well, that's a very complicated question to answer, but in this video, you're about to see just how much that statement is true when it comes to the NBA. We all know about this iconic play. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Well, guess what? That same exact situation went down again just four years later, but this time the Bulls were up three games to zero versus the Cavaliers in the second round of the 1993 playoffs. How many of you guys knew that MJ sent Cleveland home twice in basically the same fashion? Well, you just have to come. You just have to come. 2.5 seconds. Jordan again. Uh, and you just have to he come. He's done it again from the same spot. Perhaps the perfect example of this was when Dame drilled this shot at the buzzer in virtually the exact same scenario Brandon Roy was in a few years earlier against none other than the Rockets. They're literally spitting images of each other. Now hold on, that wasn't the only thing that Dame shot repeated. You know how this shot was a walk-off series clincher? Well, incredibly, that was the first walk-off series winner since John Stockton hit this shot in 1997. And what was was the common denominator? It was also against Houston. Wait, we're still not done with Houston. Let's not forget about yet again another series clinching shot that once again sent the Rockets packing. Now McMillan will inbound. Who's it gonna come to? Here's a live pass and under McKee back to the layup. It is good. Oh! Derek McKee with a layup on the inbounds pass by Nate McMillan. The Rockets just can't seem to catch a break. They're the only team to lose three playoff series at the buzzer. Here's one that is just unbelievable. The similarities between these two moments are jaw-dropping. It's like looking in a mirror. I suggest you go watch part one of Strange NBA Coincidences if you want to see for yourself. This next one creates a new meaning to the phrase following in your father's footsteps. In 1998, Gary Trent Sr. was traded from the Blazers to the Raptors 41 games into his third NBA season. 23 years later, Gary Trent Jr. gets traded from Portland to Toronto 41 games into his third NBA season. Eerie, huh? You know what they say, like father, like son. And last but not least, we all just saw Steph Curry transform into Baron Davis for a split second with this celebration. It's pretty cool that he paid homage to a former warrior. But I can't help but to also think that maybe that was a preview of things to come, because when Baron Davis did that celebration, they were also the 8th seed. Okay, I know the play-in tournament hasn't happened yet, but let's just say that the Warriors remain as the 8th seed. Could we possibly be looking at the We Believe Warriors 2.0 and maybe see them knock off the number 1 seed just like they did back in 2007? I don't know about you guys, but I think we're about to witness something special. And who knows, maybe Steph might even whip out that celebration again if they face the Jazz, who just so happened to be Baron Davis's opponent when he did that. Alright, so I know this particular part of the video might not age well, considering we don't even exactly know where the Warriors will land, but I still think it was a lot of fun making this video showing just how much history repeats itself. <laughs>